Hi, this is Shana and this is the weekly update. So we're going to take a look into the energy surrounding you this week. This time it's a bit later than usual, but better late than never. So if you'd like to find out what energy surround you this week, you can choose from one of these piles. So we have pile one, pile two and pile three. Take your time to choose your pile and I will see you in a couple of moments. So if you chose pile number one, this is your reading. So I'm going to put it over here. There you go. And what are the energies surrounding you this week? Let's find out. We're going to start um, with the tarot cards and then we are moving to the oracle cards and we also have the love reading afterwards okay so we have the knight of swords sorry about the glare let's put it like this it's better okay then we have the seven of cups and then we have the nine of wands this is a very interesting energy, pile number one. The, the idea I have immediately is you putting on the brakes, but not because it's too much for you or you're going too fast. It's just, I think you're a bit overwhelmed or you don't know exactly what to do. And this may cause a kind of procrastination. Um... Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Could be a kind of procrastination going on, but it's actually not the usual procrastination. It's you feeling actually incredibly tired, especially here with the nine of wands. And there's so much to do. Yes. Oh, okay. These are the conflicting energies here. Pile number one. So I just got into the energy now. And it's like on one hand, on the one hand, you have so many ideas you'd like to do so many things and you're actually very motivated and determined but it's so much and it's actually like to do everything at once it's like for you today should have 30 hours instead of just 24 or maybe never go to sleep and just work through because you have so many projects so many ideas you're so creative at um, at the moment and you, you'd like to go in all directions at once. And this makes you very impatient because you want to start, you know, going. You want your momentum to increase. But somehow it all, you get stuck. And on the one hand, it could be that you get stuck because you want to do too much and you're not prioritizing. Yeah. There are moments in life like that. It's okay. But on the other hand, it could also be that you're just very exhausted and that's why it's for you difficult to really get it going and you may be exhausted because you work very very much and very very hard and you have many obligations and different interests and so on but on the other hand it could also be that you're exhausted because um, this may have to do with health issues you know maybe you have um yeah you're lacking some vitamins uh or other minerals something like that in your diet that is not very balanced and you are like you have to put out a lot more energy in order to get the same done as other people and this exhausts you very much because you're yes that is the sentence uh you're running on empty and uh, you may have that feeling of that really running on empty and you don't know what to do. If this is your case and you you know this is like a physical condition, please go and see a doctor, you know, or a natural uh, medicine a practitioner, whatever the case. But just go and see someone to help you balance either your diet or your habits or, you know, to see if there's any other kind of problem there because you're very, very exhausted. And it's also important this week that you learn to say no to certain situations. It's important that you learn to assess your levels of energy 
and act accordingly. Because it may be that pile number one, you usually uh, do too much. You know, you you give more of yourself and you just, yeah, you, you just, you, you, I'm lacking the words. It could be that also you cannot speak very well because you're so tired. Um, what I'm saying is you just give too much of your energy and not receiving enough back, you know. And and this is this week is going to become very very apparent, especially now after the full moon, right? The full moon may have given you some energy, some like kind of high, uh, nervous um, way of feeling kind of thing, but um, but now that the the full moon is wearing off, then you just feel this tiredness again. Right, so it is important that you you really look into this and see about your health and see how to get your mojo back and get your energy back. This is quite important because you really like so creative right now. You have so many ideas, but you're lacking the energy to uh, get this going, and you're getting very frustrated because you really want to get stuff done. You really want to put your ideas into practice, into action. Yeah. Now, then we have Regina, she who instigates leadership, provocation, power. So yeah, this is this goes really well with the uh, with the Knight of Swords, and this you want to get things done. You even know what to do. You know how it's done, but again, you being kind of held back because of this lack of energy you still have to heal yourself yeah you still have to heal from some kind of ailment can be emotional psychological can be um oh that's interesting could be a physical i'm getting here um sentence that i got is like that everything is interconnected and usually connected to your gut so if you could check like your gut flora if everything's fine because there may be an imbalance, yeah, it could be gut or could be also liver, for instance. And um, but this is just like putting it out there how I'm getting it. I'm not a physician, I'm not a doctor, so please go and see a professional in order to sort this out if you're really resonating with this message, okay? Because it could be also like an emotional um, ailment, it's something here that is blocking you, you're just very, very tired. Um, then we have here, she who surrenders, Stefania, chains, bondage, release. I like this word with surrender. And you see here the waterfall, the waterfall always stands for healing. Yeah. So there's a lot of healing going on. And we also have the snake here that also stands for healing. And the snake changes skin. So what I see here is this week, you wanting to bring change forth. And you want to change. So pile number one, you're someone who really wants to change. You want to change even your appearance. You want to change the clothes you wear. You want to change your hairstyle. You want to change the way the world sees you, okay? And you want to change the way you see yourself as well, the way you present yourself to the world. And you may be facing some blockages again, like we were saying here. We have the, the chains and um, bondage, yes. And so, but you are also releasing this. And the way you're releasing it is by surrendering because uh, probably you're coming to the conclusion the more you fight against it, the more you have a problem. So, for instance, let's say you have a problem with your weight, right? And the more you go against it, it seems to be, by going against it, I mean you're really unhappy about it, you hate yourself about it and over it. And it becomes worse. You know, this negative energy just makes the situation worse. But by surrendering to it, by surrendering to what is, by loving what is, and just, you know, accepting it is as it is, then you start opening for creative ideas. There you go. 
that you'll then put in motion. So you're getting very determined to bring changes into your life, to bring changes out to yourself. And that with weight was just an example, okay? It could be anything else. Yeah, so you want to bring these changes. You're just lacking a bit of energy. So you should rest more and you should check your vitamin levels as well. Oh, look. And then we have this really sweet card and it says nine, meeting. So this week you, buy, you might be meeting up with friends um, or going out more. And uh, again, I have the feeling you're buying yourself new clothes. You know, like the, the kitten is wearing um, uh, a dress. Or maybe some of you are thinking about buying a car. You know, or even a home or changing, moving. You're considering this or you'll be doing this. But you'll be meeting either you, the friends you already have or meeting up with family too or also meeting with new people. But, do, you know, it could be that you're meeting people that are very different from you. And there's this curiosity, you know, wanting to meet new people, wanting to meet new ways of life. And um, and it's very, very positive, very, very positive, because I think it's also part of the accepting. You just being more acceptant of life, of yourself and others. And this attracts other people because they will feel understood and loved by you. Now, when it comes to love, I oh, know, wait a second. Like a card of advice. Let's get you an advice card here. Oh, there you go. And we have say no. Again, this is what I was telling you. Say no to situations that want to take advantage of your energy, that want you to give more than they give back. Be it in love, be it at work, especially at work, I would say. Be it friends, family, you just have to learn to say no. You know, no matter how appealing or nice the people are, just say no. If it's not up to your standards or if you don't have the stamina or the energy, you know, to do what they want from you. And at the bottom of the deck, there to be happy and yeah, this is what you deserve, is to be happy and you have to believe that you deserve it and just go for it. Take that leap of faith. So, now when it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? File number one. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm getting confused with my cards. So I think I'm the one who's very tired. Okay, so there you go. So for pile number one, so the first card just flew. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There you go. Then for pile number one, we have free yourself. And you deserve love yeah this is what you're realizing this week and we have here religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path but this could also mean any kind of difference or unsurmountable difference between you and your person or the person on your mind now i see here that this is a moment to be honest with yourself and probably with the other person as well or about the other person and to free yourself from any illusions or from any um, situations that make you feel small or make you feel captive, you know, like make you feel unfree. That, that's not such a word, but never mind. Um, you know, and this is time to get your freedom back because you deserve love. You deserve something better. You deserve someone that really appreciates who you are. If you find yourself in this situation, if you don't find yourself in a situation where you're bound by illusions or by a restrictive uh, partner or situation, um, then it's really like focus on yourself now. You know, get to know the people around you. You know, you'll probably be meeting people this week. You know, talk with them, get to know them. 
but free yourself from any expectations and aim for the best. Let's see what the other cards have to say. So when it comes to love, when it comes to love, what is the energy? Whoa, we have fate. Fate is guiding and helping this connection. Luck is with you. Yeah, so I would say free yourself from any expectations and trust fate that it will guide you to the to the right person. One more card, please. There you go. Whoa. And we have destiny's point. So which path will you take? Follow your soul dreams or stay in the comfort zone? So it's also a time to make a decision. It's like when luck comes uh, knocking on your door, what will you do? Will you answer the door or will you ignore it? Will you take that risk, that leap of faith or will you stay put? You know, it's up to you. There's no wrong. There's no right. There's just consequences at the end of the day. So, and then one last card for your love energies. For pile number one. Ooh, we have new love. Yes, this is what's destined. And here we have endless possibilities. Really, really nice. Yeah, look, at the end of the, um, at the bottom of the other deck, we have synchronicity and signs aligned to your desires. There you go. Notice signs and symbols for validation. So when it comes to love this year, this year, this week, um, fate is going to play a major part and it's going to guide you to what you deserve. That's why we had first the energy, free yourself from old baggage, from old expectations from old patterns from everything you can read yourself of because you're getting ready for something new and then you're realizing also your worth you're realizing how beautiful how wonderful how intelligent you are and how much you bring onto the table in a love connection and it's time that you understand this because something beautiful is coming along and the more you are aware of your worth, the more you are able to receive all these blessings. And so pile number one, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number two, this is your reading. So... What are the energies surrounding you this week? We're going to start with the tarot cards and then we'll be moving to the oracle cards. And then we also have the love reading. So first of all, we have the queen of wands. Then we have the ace of cups. And then we have the nine of cups. Wow. So pile number two, this is your week. There's a lot of healing coming in and wishes coming through in, a, in the most positive way. And I see you going to parties or there are celebrations or I see parties, you going out. I see bars, restaurants, even some private parties. But you, your social life is picking up, you know, momentum. And you'll be the life of the party. You'll be the center of attention. You're very magnetic, very attractive. And you're feeling this. It's not only that other people, oh, she's she or he, they're very handsome or very beautiful. No, it's like you're feeling this. You're feeling this, this uh, magnetism around you, this charisma, this aura, you know, and it's irresistible. And you're having a lot of fun this week. And just be careful not to be drinking too much. This is important. And there is healing. And there will be also an offer of love for some of you. And if it's not love, it will be something you've been wishing for a long time. Could be a career, could be a trip, could be trip, yes. Um, could be actually anything. 
but it's something that's really a dream come true and it's a new start and you are feeling very empowered. It's like you're really aligned to all of your desires. You're manifesting everything you want this week. And if not everything, at least one thing you're manifesting. And it's a lot of happiness here. And feeling in control of your life. And for some of you, this will be even the first time that you feel so powerful, like the universe is really conspiring to make you happy. And suddenly everything makes so much sense. Everything that you've learned, everything that you've gone through starts to align and to make sense. And you understand why things had to happen the way they did, even if sometimes they were difficult, even if sometimes... There seemed to be no end to that dark tunnel, but there you go. We have the rainbow at the end or the, the, the gold at the end of the rainbow, right? And again, we have the waterfall and the waterfall is symbolic for um, healing. So for some of you, it will be um, a health issue that is going to get better this week. And again, it's a dream come true. For others of you, it's money coming in, riches coming in, maybe a pay rise, maybe a promotion, maybe a, a lottery win of some kind, or maybe there will be, you know, there will be gifts. So it could be that some of you have uh, also a birthday this week and you're the birthday girl or the birthday guy and you'll be celebrated this week. And it will be a lot of fun. It will be beautiful and healing. And it's a new start. It's a new year. So it's your solar return. This is beautiful. There's not much to tell except good things. So all good things will come to you. And you'll feel very blessed. And it's like a transformation is also complete. And there's the next one starting in the most positive way imaginable. Then we have here... She who surprises, breathes, surprise, discovery, revelation. So maybe there will be a surprise party for some of you. So, and I'm spoiling it. I'm so sorry, but it doesn't have to be. It could be that the surprise is all these things falling into place as the surprise is everything coming as planned, everything becoming perfect in your life. And and you're the one who's discovering it. You're the one who's seeing it and just being almost shocked by it. Yeah, and for some of you, it will be also kind of um, realization. Again, it's like you can see how life works. It's a realization of how manifestation works. And the realization that you have a lot more power than you thought possible and you have more talents that you could ever believe and you are more admired and loved than you could ever imagine. So those are really like fantastic realizations. And then we have this card here. She who battles Abanaloka. Justice fears commitment. Yeah, because... It's like positive karma, right? So you're getting what you've sown and you've sown beautiful seeds and now you are um, harvesting a forest, you're harvesting a jungle and so full of life and full of promise and full of beauty. And you're very... It's like your courage, your commitment is being rewarded this week but instead of getting a complacent um, you just that this just encourages you to become even more determined because you feel so empowered with those two cards here you know you're so empowered that you feel like doing more and daring more and uh, reaching for the stars this gives you a lot of power this gives you a lot of energy so this is a very very positive week then we have this beautiful card spring the fresh yearning of the morning yeah it's like with the spring it's uh, almost like the energy here of the ace of cups the ace of cups for me is the beginning of summer 
and we're getting the beginning of summer in two weeks and uh, and it's really like you're feeling fresh you're feeling reborn you're feeling rewarded you feel like the universe is fair the universe really has your back and again this is a new start for you but full of positivity full of love full of appreciation full of gratitude because you're dancing with the universe now. It's like you've been learning the steps all along and now you can dance with the universe and improvise and create beautiful art with it. Wow. So let's get you some advice. So. For a pile. One. Some advice. For pile two, sorry. So for pile two, what is the advice for pile two this week? Turn on the light. Yeah, this is like telling you to shine. Just shine this week. There's no need to hide this week. The spotlight will be on you anyway. This week will be amazing. And by turning on your light, you'll be inspiring other people. You'll be making other people happy and you will inspire them creatively as well. Yeah. And, and it's not an emergency. So whatever you've been worried about, you'll notice this week that it wasn't that important or it wasn't that um, of an emergency. It wasn't uh, much of a big deal and you can handle it, you know, easily. And uh, things turn out better than you thought they could, which is amazing. And then when it comes to love, pile number two, what are the energies surrounding you this week when it comes to love? So we have here, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So again, a lot of positivity this week. Then we have reconciliation. Someone is coming back. So there'll be the possibility of making amends and building bridges. And then we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So, like I said, this is a week of uh, dreams coming true for you. Your wishes will be coming true. If you've been wanting someone from your past to come back, uh, this person will be coming back. And uh, if not, some of you sometimes say, no, please, no, don't let them come back. The thing is, even if they come back, we have this card here with love yourself first. Then it, this is like almost like a test. Will you fall into, you know, old patterns? Or will you act differently this time? Will you put yourself first, your self-respect first and your self-love first? And I think you will, because again, you're so empowered this week. You've been realizing and, and having all these insights about yourself, about who you really are and what you really deserve. That even someone from the past comes in and expects you to be the same person, you are different now. It's like you're the one who detects the rules because you're aware of your worth and of what you want. And you're very positive. So don't you don't do, do this out of spite or resentment. You do this because you're very positive. You do this out of joy and you do this because you love yourself, which is amazing. But let's see what these cards have to tell us. Second, let me shuffle it properly. Just a second. For pile number two, for some of you, will have commitment. Your relationship moves to the next stage of love and unity. And then we have devotion. Oh wow, 
This love anchors you together. Nothing can separate you. What a beautiful week for you. Pile number two. Amazing. And look, bottom of the deck, wishes. Wishes are dreams we can manifest. What is your wish? <laughs> so these are manifestations galore for you. Pile number two. Amazing. So, opala. then we have here, endless possibilities. We got three cards for you, and I think it, they make sense. Then we have here, secret admire and together forever. So again, this is about the commitment, and there is someone who is a secret admirer that you don't know about, and probably this person will make themselves known this week. And the possibilities are endless. You are manifesting your own luck, your own happiness this week. And again, the commitment card. Wow. So pile number two, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I just saw 1313. Maybe that means something to you. I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you. So if you chose pile number three, this is your reading. So what are the energies surrounding you this week? We'll start with the tarot cards, then we'll move on to the oracle cards, then we'll have the love reading at the end. We have here number 14, temperance. There you go. Then we have the six of swords. And the King of Wands. Now, some of you will be traveling this week. If you chose pile number three, some of you will be traveling here with the Six of Swords. But this is also moving forward, moving from a difficult situation and moving to calmer waters and to balance equilibrium and health and self-care. It's you taking time for yourself, you really respecting your own boundaries and your limits, your limitations when it comes to energy, right? Um, and you're giving yourself time, you're giving yourself what you need in order to come to this energy of the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, it's a very wise energy and also very business-like. Wands energy is always very creative, it has a lot to do with creativity. But when you reach the king modus, you're not creating anymore, you're delegating. So because you've done all the creating um, throughout your life and now you reach the, the boss mode, so to say. And so you're delegating. And again, for delegating, you have to know yourself and others quite well in order to make the most of the people around you. Not in a selfish way or exploiting way, but to get the synergy going in a positive way. And that's the role of the King of Wands. And the King of Wands has a lot to offer. Uh, the King of Wands is very, very passionate and it's also um, very giving. And it's also reliable. Kings, usually they're very reliable because they're more mature. Um, and this is what you're getting to. You're getting to this position of getting things done. And also to the position of working with the team, working with other people or having other people work for you. But again, not in an um, exploitation kind of way. But, you know, as a synergy, as a team, working towards the same goal. And it could be that some of you are getting, are becoming entrepreneurs or you already are entrepreneurs, but then you're thinking of hiring other people or getting other people to help you. And this is quite positive. So this is one of the interpretations. 
the other interpretation is you moving away from a person or a collective or situation. And something that, although it seemed to be very attractive at first, um, it proved to be a bit suffocating or a bit um, too demanding of your energy and resources and emotions as well. And and you're entering now a time of healing, a time of um, getting to your own energy, getting into uh, your own power again, but you need this balance, okay? You need to find balance within yourself in order to get there. The other possibility here is then that there may be someone in your life, someone who's very strong, strong-willed, um, and they may you may have had like clashes in the past or you didn't know exactly how to deal with this person, this person would be here, the king of wands. Um, and now you're finding a way, you're kind of retreating or you have retreated from this situation in order to find a way of how to balance this, how to balance this connection, how to balance the energies. But you're working on it and this is getting more and more positive, okay? Some of you haven't retreated, you're just working on it, but it's going to to work. It's going to get more balanced. The situation will get more positive. So I think I've covered all the situations I'm seeing here. Let's see what are the Oracle cards. We have Geneva. We have She Who Radiates. Wow. And Knowing Ambition Confidence. And then we have here, She Who Divines, Futura, Future Choice Judgment. So, you are getting more and more confident, like I was telling you earlier. You're getting to that energy of the King of Wands. So you may even be starting a business. Like I said, the King of Wands energy is entrepreneurial. So you've been starting a business. You are getting on your own two feet. And some of you may even be tarot readers. Hello, colleagues. Um, could be tarot readers or any kind of esoteric uh, field or even spiritual as well. Uh, you can be healers as well as what I'm getting. And and the thing here with the choice and judgment, which is really important here, is that you know, first of all, you always have a choice. And some of you have more than one possibility. And even in each of these possibilities, there are choices to make of how to present yourself, how to proceed, where to go, and so on. And with the judgment um, word here, I see, like, I see this as discernment, discerning the situation. And gathering knowledge here with this card, you know, like knowing. But I think like once you're ready to put yourself out there and this, you will feel this more at the end of the week. So during the weekend, for instance, when you start, you know, presenting yourself, you will outshine many other people because you're so prepared. This is what I'm getting here. You being prepared and you being aware of all the possibilities, being very discerning, being very determined. And you took your time or you've been taking your time until it feels right, until you're strong enough, until you feel like this is it. This is the way. And, uh, and now I'm ready. And then when you do it, it works. Yeah, it's... It, it, it just works because you're following your own intuition. You're following your own, could be biorhythm. You just, you just feel it. Yeah. And then there you go. Traveling. Number 10. Yeah. So many of you may be traveling this week again. And this is, it will be very comfortable. Like you see, I love this card. The cat just sitting there enjoying seeing the world. 
<laughs> and being carried. I just find it amazing. Um, and I think like the if you're planning a journey or if you're traveling this week, it will be very comfortable. Everything will go according to plan. And uh, and you're doing things that you always loved. And some of you even be traveling to more exotic places than you're used to. And although it sometimes it uh, can feel a bit scary because maybe it's the unknown, um, but it will be very, very pleasant. You're very, very brave and you'll be protected. We have there the temperance. So the temperance card is usually displayed by an angel, a very protective angel that makes sure that everything goes according to plan, okay? That everything is balanced out in your favor. So these are very, very positive cards. Pile number three. So do we have any advice for you? Advice for pile number three, please. And there we have it. Hmm, that's interesting. Tell the truth. This could be telling the truth to someone. You know, also like putting up your boundaries as, uh, or how do you say it? Uh, communicating your boundaries or something that, you know, you have to get off your chest. And that's why, you know, to get off like this difficult situation here with the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is always positive. It's a bit of a sad card, but it's always positive. And I think that's what is meant here. Sometimes you have to take steps to, you know, bring a situation into a more positive direction. And... Yeah, sometimes we have to swallow our pride, but I don't see that here. Swallowing your pride is just telling the truth can be difficult in certain circumstances. And But take this as it resonates for you, because this could also be telling the truth to yourself. For instance, writing down what you really want. And sometimes um, the best way to do that is to imagine if money wasn't an issue, if you had all the money in the world, what would you do? What would you really want to do? What would you really want to have? You know, and just write it down and be really truthful with yourself. And then once you have that, it's like, okay, what are the steps to get there? What could I do? You know, being realistic, but fun and joyous about it as well. Okay. And yeah, so it could be telling the truth to someone. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. Or um, telling the truth to yourself. And you have bottom of the deck, sick and expert. So, yeah, it could be health-wise. It could be, you know, psychologically uh, speaking. Um, you know, or even like a coach. Some of you might need a coach or a teacher. Okay. Interesting. Very Interesting. Please let me know how this resonates with you in the comments because I'm curious now. Now, when it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? When it comes to love, what are the energies surrounding you this week? Pile number three. We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Then we have calling in your soulmate. Oh, interesting here, right? Opa. And then we have unrequited love. I find that interesting. And then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Could be that you have children, uh, the person on your mind you know, or in your life has children or you want to have children or not want to have children, whatever the case, that's a big issue here. And this is actually quite straightforward here with these cards. It's like pay attention to the red flags and here with the requited love. It doesn't mean that you're not loved or not lovable or not desirable. 
Not at all. What I see here is like many of you who chose pile number three are looking for a partner. You're calling in this partner, you're visualizing, making your affirmations and manifesting it. But don't take, you know, be discerning. Don't take the first person that the universe throws at you. Uh, unless this person is perfect, of course, right? But here in your case, they're saying, yeah, pay attention to what's coming your way, to what's answering your um, your prayers, right? Because this person may not be the one you're actually wanting. Yeah, and maybe it's this, you have to get away from something that uh, doesn't fully fulfill your expectations because someone else will be later coming your way. Yeah. Let's see what these other cards also say. So when it comes to love for pile number three. We have promise. All dreams are possible with this love. So there is a love that's really your dreams, your dream come true. And if something comes along that doesn't fulfill this, you know, and if you have a funny feeling, you're not totally happy and, you know, don't, don't. But it's up to you, of course, you know, and take it as it resonates for you and makes sense in your life. Of course, this is a general reading and the card just flew all over okay then we have love language speaking each other's language nurture uh, nurtures love to grow so this could be you know like this person that they are referring to that you have different love languages right like cats and dogs, they have different languages and they get a lot of misunderstandings. And so like body languages, and that's why they don't get along very well most of the time. And this may be the issue here. So they, the cards are telling you, look into it. Because it could be that the love languages are not compatible. And maybe you can work through it or maybe not. Maybe you want to work through it or maybe not. So it's up to you. And we have here celebration. Soon you will be celebrating wonderful news with your love. Mm. So, and one last card here for the love energies for pile number three. So what are the love energies for oh, pile number three? You got three cards. You've got sad and blue, together forever, when hell freezes over. Yeah. Yeah. This could be like summoning up what we had here is like could be that something you've been wanting, it's not manifesting the way. You want it to manifest, and this may make you a bit sad, but there's something else coming along. I see this card here. Is your wishes can come true. Something else is coming along, a better opportunity for you to be happy. And maybe it's not the, with the person that you had your eyes um, set on, but what's coming up next is a lot better. What do we have bottom of the deck? Yeah, many of you are still stuck in the past and it's time to start a new life. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to start a new life. And maybe this uh, King of Wands is representing that person from the past and you have to move on from this person and start healing. I hope I'm not being too blunt. I'm just, you know, very in the flow now of what I'm seeing in the cards. But I see a wonderful love coming your way. It's probably not the person you wanting 
or you will have to learn each other's love languages in order to make this work. Okay, so pile number three, this was your reading. I hope it resonates. I hope it inspires you. And I wish you a wonderful week full of love. Thank you.